Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. So I'm Mohammed from PyCAD and in this video I wanted to share with you an experiment that I was doing uh, during some exercises. So the thing here for uh, like I was trying to do image classification for 2D medical images like like I know that it is one of the easiest tasks but the thing here for some kind of data sets it is very hard to find a good model for that so the thing here i will like talk about like i will try to make the video as short as possible but uh, yeah i will try to give you the details about this experiment so the thing here i was trying to train a classification model for two type of data sets the first one was like x-ray bone fractures and like fracture detection and there is another uh, another data set which was like the bone age so we had not we had but the data set is about some images about bone ages so in months so it is most of like all of them all of the uh, images are for kids so depending to, to the ages in months so here we have from uh, from one month to until like I think the maximum is 180 months yeah there is one 188 months and yeah it depends to uh, depends to which type of uh, the best to, to, to the image but you can see that the distribution is not the same so if you see the uh, like for, for example you can find a lot of images for the uh, bone age of uh, 50 months or 100 months but for example for the one month or two months like there is fewer images sometimes you can find two or three images per age so the thing here what I was trying to do like I trained I was trying to do classification for these two uh, uh, data sets, but for the moment I will talk only about the bone age because like the code that I will explain to you or the code that I tried to uh, for the task, I tried it for both of them, but now in this video I will show you only about the bone age, but it is the same thing for the other data set, which is this one for the bone fracture. So the thing here, I couldn't or I didn't want to do classification for each age because, as I said, we don't have like a lot of images for all the ages and the distribution is like there is very big difference for some ages. There are hundreds of images and others there are only two or three images. So what I decided to do is to create ranges of 50 months so for each 50 months there is a like I, I classify them as a class so for example the class one is from the age zero into the age 49 and then the the uh, the class two it is from the age 50 to the age 99 etc etc so the thing it can be like we can have a lot of images for each class but if we do for each uh, for each month like one class this cannot work okay so here what i said as i said i took this data set i split them so if you want already to use this same data set to do the experiment as i as i did the images are already split and put in uh, in dropbox and you will see in the notebook we will download them directly here but if you want to do with another images so then you need to try to how to upload them so here in this video and in the experiments i did the training and the testing in uh, google collab and i am using google collab pro plus but even with the collab no, like the normal basic collab it works because i tra i tried training these with the t4 and it is working no problem so yeah if you want powerful gpu you can use the google pro sorry google collab pro or pro plus but if you just want to do the experiments, you can do with the basic one. OK, so the thing here, I will just show you the results, because as I said if I run the training here, everything like if I do all the steps in the video, so it will be like a big course. But here I am just running experiments and most of the code was already done, like already built. Like for the CNNs, I have already this code in uh, in my GitHub repository and I made a video about it. And for the vision transformers, I took the whole code from another repository that I will uh, leave the, uh, the link in the description also. So the thing here, I am not, I didn't, I wasn't the one who created the code for the vision transformers, but I did for the CNNs. 
but the thing for the CNS, I have already another video of 30 minutes explaining everything. So yeah, in this video, I will try just to show the results instead of uh, talking about everything. But if you are interested, you can always see the code for the, uh, like see the video for the CNNs. And even for the Vision Transformers, there is a Medium uh, blog that I will leave in the comments also, like where uh, there is the person who wrote the code. He can like, he is explaining everything in the Medium blog. Okay, so yeah. Let's start talking about the CNNs. So I will show you directly the results. So as I said here, the uh, in the Jupyter, in the uh, Google Colab, it is already downloading the file from Dropbox. So if you want to use the same data sets, then you can directly run the cell here. But if you are using another the data set, then you need to uh, to upload it by yourself. Okay. So yeah, I am uploading and then unzipping and etc, etc and doing the training here for the return model. I have created like uh, this function to choose which model I want to use for the training. And if if some of you have already seen the video about the CNS that I did before, which was like how if we do classification by freezing or not freezing the uh, the base model. So the thing here like the function is the same so just to choose exception vg16 inception v3 or dense net so this was how to choose one of the uh, models and also if you want to freeze or not freeze the weights so yeah if you want to see more details you can check the video but now i would just like for for this experiment i tested all of them but in this video i would present only one of them because we don't have time to talk about everything but yeah i tested the exception so uh yeah i used the exception for this training for this experiment the experiment that i will share in this video so yeah i trained the model in 40 epochs and yeah let me just show the results and now as you can see either for uh for the accuracy of the training or the validation like we couldn't even pass the 50%, like all the values until like, if we go to the uh, the 40, uh, 40 uh, epoch, you can see that like the biggest value of the accuracy, it was about 46. I think this one is the best. Yes, 46% is the best accuracy value that we could achieve with the uh, CNNs. And I tested this with multiple models or multiple architectures. So CN like VG16, Exception, Inception, V3, and all of them that are listed in the function. But all of them was not able to uh, to find the uh, or to give a good accuracy and even in the testing part it wasn't good results like for the both of data sets so for the bone age and for the fracture detection and then i used the same data set but for the vision transformers and by the way if you are a medical imaging student or practitioner and you are looking for someone to help you to uh, create your deep learning models for medical imaging analysis and this sub applications also you can always contact us we do consulting for this uh, for the field and we can help you build your deep learning models and customized uh, architectures customize uh, this type of application for your purpose so don't hesitate to contact us at contacts at pica.co and you can also see some of our works at pica.co slash portfolio as i said this code has um, has not been written by me so i will share the uh like the credit for the uh, author so you will you will find the uh the code here i will share also the um the original uh, code or the original repository. This is the original repository of the CNS that I have created. And this one is for the vision transformer. So this is the notebook that I used to tra train the uh, vision transformer model. And as I said, also we are downloading the, the data sets from Dropbox directly here. And then we go to the, like preparing the data, creating the batches and then doing the training, the patches, sorry, not the batches. And then here in the training, I trained the vision transformer only on 10 epochs. I didn't want to go beyond that, but you will see that in 10 epochs, we could achieve a, an accuracy of 95%. If, and if you see here, the accuracy is like for each epoch, the accuracy is being improved. So we have 62, 71, 77, 83, 88, 91, 93, 94, and then 94, 8, and then 95. So you can see that even 
like it didn't decrease like for all the epochs it is increasing so even if i leave it for more epochs it will increase more so you can see that the vision transformer is like way better than the cnn in this task i am not saying that the vision transformer is the best for all the tasks but for example in these both data sets like the vision transformer has beaten the cnn and even i tested it on an image and you can see that this is like by my eyes i cannot define i'm not a doctor so i cannot define the age but here by the model it is already detecting the age like the range and age range which is between 100 and 148 49 uh, uh, months and here the if we see the label the label is one and i will show you that one is the same uh, class so here we have the label zero which is zero to uh, 49 months and the label one is from one 100 months to 149 I am like I know that's why why we are not having like from zero to forty nine and then from fifty to ninety nine. I think like this how uh, how Python code is sorting them like by zero one two three until five. But this doesn't matter for the moment. If you want to rearrange them, you can do that. But for the moment, we can see that the label number one or with the index one is the class like from 100 to 149, which is the exact one. And I tested this for multiple uh, images and it was working all the time. So, yeah, this was for this video. I just wanted to show you how you can do uh, how you can do this kind of comparison and you can if for example you are doing classification and you saw that cnn is not working well so i recommend you to use the uh, vision transformer for that because it has more information in the image than the cnn which can lead better results and good classification model so i hope that this video was helpful and catch you in next one bye bye